There are moments in technology when you can feel the ground shifting under your feet, even before the world notices. Moments when something quietly prepares to rewrite what millions of people thought was possible. And right now, buried inside Tesla's development labs, a silent race is accelerating toward that kind of moment. A race that most people don't even know is happening. A race between two battery chemistries that were once dismissed as academic curiosities, yet now stand on the edge of becoming the beating heart of Tesla's next-generation vehicles in the year 2026. For drivers who have lived long enough to remember carburetors, cold morning starts, and engines that coughed themselves awake in winter, this shift is not simply another chapter in electric vehicle history. It is a turning point. A chance to finally break the compromises that have followed the modern battery since the first lithium pack rolled off an assembly line. Everyone who has ever watched their range collapse on a freezing February morning. Everyone who has waited far too long at a charging station while the clock reminds them they are not as patient as they once were. Everyone who wants a vehicle that simply works, season after season, year after year. This is the moment that matters. The world of battery chemistry is changing, and the two unlikely contenders at the center of Tesla's decision are aluminum ion and sodium ion. Neither of these chemistries relies on the conventional playbook. Neither depends on scarce lithium. Neither is just a laboratory experiment anymore. And both are now preparing for the biggest test of all, real-world validation inside Tesla's manufacturing ecosystem. But before we explore what these chemistries mean for range, reliability, and cost, let's take a step back and imagine something. Imagine waking up on a winter morning and seeing your Tesla still holding nearly all the range you left it with the night before. Imagine no surge of worry as you watch the cold eat into your battery. Imagine charging that same vehicle in a summer heat wave without losing speed, without stressing the pack, without wondering whether the years will eventually dull the battery's strength. Imagine a future where your vehicle doesn't depend on fragile supply chains or minerals controlled by unpredictable markets. Imagine being able to buy a Tesla for far less than what lithium-based models cost today. A future where the electric car has finally become what it was always supposed to be. Reliable, affordable, durable, simple. That future is why Tesla is testing aluminum ion and sodium ion right now. And the stakes have never been higher. Inside Tesla's engineering teams, energy density is one of the first questions on the table. Not theoretical density, but usable density. The kind drivers actually feel when they press the accelerator or calculate whether they can make it to the next charging stop. Early aluminum ion prototypes have shown energy density ranges hovering between 260 and 300 watt hours per kilogram when produced by hand in controlled batches. If Tesla could stabilize those numbers at scale, the result would push aluminum ion above today's lithium iron phosphate packs and place it just below mid-tier nickel-based cells. For a lightweight, compact Tesla in the year 2026, that could mean the difference between a range that feels limited and a range that feels liberating. But there is a catch. Lab samples almost always perform at the higher end of their capabilities. Once cells enter mass manufacturing, once they face real pressures, real coatings, real calendars, and real production variability, their numbers tend to drift downward. Tesla's internal estimates suggest aluminum ion could lose 20 to 30 watt-hours per kilogram as it scales, enough to matter in the real world. Sodium ion sits in a different category altogether. Its energy density falls lower on paper, often between 140 and 170 watt-hours per kilogram. At first glance, a driver might see those numbers and think sodium ion is simply not good enough. But that would be a mistake, because sodium ion hides its strength in a place most drivers care about far more than abstract laboratory charts, temperature stability. In cold weather, the kind of cold that has ruined many winter EV road trips, sodium ion barely flinches. Where a lithium pack might drop 20 or 30% of its usable energy, 
sodium ion behaves more like a pack experiencing a temperature closer to minus 5 degrees Celsius, even when the real temperature is far lower. To a driver, that means confidence, predictability, a winter where the vehicle you rely on behaves the way you expect. And to Tesla, that matters more than many people realize. Tesla knows its customers. There is the commuter driving 40 miles a day, the retiree towing a lightweight camper through open country, the family running errands across town in midsummer heat, the driver who wants simplicity, ease, and comfort without worrying what the temperature outside is doing to their car. For these people, stability may matter more than maximum performance. And so the question inside Tesla becomes less about which chemistry is theoretically superior and more about which chemistry serves the largest number of real-world drivers. Aluminum ion carries another remarkable advantage, charge speed. Its internal architecture allows ions to move with exceptional efficiency, creating theoretical charge times that could one day reach under 10 minutes. Tesla will not reach that number in 2026, but even a conservative rollout could place aluminum ion, charging curves significantly ahead of sodium ions. 10 to 80% in 20 to 25 minutes is within reach on Tesla's V4 superchargers. For road trippers and heavy-use drivers, that is a powerful incentive. Sodium ion, by comparison, offers slower speeds, more in the 32 to 38-minute range under the same conditions. Not bad, not unacceptable, but not spectacular either. What sodium ion offers instead is dependability a charging curve that barely changes between mild cold and deep winter, giving drivers a sense of consistency that higher-performance chemistries struggle to match. And yet, this entire story becomes even more complex when we talk about heat. Tesla's engineering playbook includes one brutal stage, thermal torture testing. These tests are not designed to be fair. They are designed to simulate the worst days of the year the scorching afternoons when the pavement looks like it's melting, the heat waves that make you question whether the climate is shifting right under your feet. Aluminum ion has shown excellent thermal tolerance in theory, maintaining structure up to around 55 degrees Celsius. But in practice, Tesla's early field tests paint a more nuanced picture. Once temperatures rise above 45 degrees, Internal resistance begins to climb in aluminum ion cells, not dramatically, not dangerously, but enough that Tesla would need to design more aggressive cooling channels than the ones used for lithium iron phosphate packs. Sodium ion responds differently. It holds steady across a wider temperature band, showing only moderate degradation at extreme heat when paired with the right hard carbon anode. Tesla's experiments with reinforced anode structures suggest that sodium ion packs could maintain long lifespans even in hot climates, as long as the pack architecture is tuned correctly. This brings us to what may be the most emotional part of the story for many drivers over 50, long-term reliability. Battery degradation is not simply a topic for enthusiasts. It is a concern for anyone planning to own a vehicle for 8, 10, or even 15 years. It is the difference between a car that feels trustworthy and one that feels like it is slowly losing its identity. Aluminum ion has incredible potential, but remains sensitive to sustained high temperature exposure. Without carefully engineered cooling, its long-term aging curve could become unpredictable. Sodium ion, on the other hand, may offer one of the most stable degradation profiles Tesla has seen in an affordable chemistry. Even when temperatures drop well below freezing, sodium ion behaves with a consistency that industry veterans find surprisingly promising. But if you think performance and reliability are the deciding factors, the story turns once again. Because Tesla is Tesla, a company that has always lived or died by its manufacturing speed and cost efficiency. And this is where sodium ion begins to reveal its most powerful advantage. Tesla can manufacture a sodium ion pack using machinery incredibly similar to what is already used for lithium iron phosphate. Converting an existing line could take as little as seven months. 
That means sodium ion is not only easier to build, it is faster to scale. For a company racing toward multi-million vehicle production, that speed could be the defining factor. Aluminum ion requires something much harder. Its anode structure depends on multi-layer graphene composites. These offer spectacular theoretical performance, but demand manufacturing precision that no gigafactory has yet demonstrated at scale. Tesla's pilot lines in Nevada have already pushed early aluminum ion batches, but yields fluctuated between 62 and 68 percent, nowhere near the 88 percent or higher that Tesla needs for profitable automotive production. This could delay aluminum ion industrialization until late 2026 or even early 2027. Meanwhile, sodium ion supply chain is simple and robust. Sodium is abundant around the world. Cathode materials can be produced at massive scale. There are no rare metals, no geopolitical risks, and no unpredictable price swings. For Tesla, that simplicity could be worth more than raw performance. And then we reach the heart of the question every future buyer will eventually ask, cost. If Tesla released aluminum ion packs in 2026, early estimates suggest they would land somewhere between $92 and $115 per kilowatt hour. A reasonable number, but not groundbreaking. Sodium ion, however, could debut between $58 and $72 per kilowatt hour, a range low enough to make a sub-$25,000 Tesla not just possible, but profitable. For buyers who have waited years for Tesla to deliver an affordable model, sodium ion may be the breakthrough they have been hopping for. At this point, the suspense becomes almost palpable. On one hand, aluminum ion promises speed, power, and the possibility of future dominance once manufacturing catches up. On the other hand, sodium ion offers predictability, affordability, and the fastest path to mass production. Inside Tesla, the debate is not about which chemistry is perfect. None of them are. The debate is about which chemistry serves the most people in the most conditions with the least long-term compromise. And so we return to you. The truth is that Tesla may not need to choose only one chemistry. Aluminum ion could serve the higher-end models, the long-range variants, the people who cross entire states in a day. Sodium ion could anchor the affordable fleet, offering stability and simplicity for millions of future owners. And what Tesla decides in the next 12 months will shape the next decade of driving. Torque element, 